Hello, Ken here from the CC, here today with a demo of Windows 8.1 Preview. We did a demo of 8.1 in the past, and it was codenamed Windows Blue, but there was an update recently for developers and other testers. So I'll take you through some of the new changes if you haven't seen them already. They are pretty nice. And this will be a free update to Windows 8 users. You just get the update through the store once it is available. I don't think there is a release date yet. To start with, an important part of the whole new Windows release schedule is the fact that Microsoft wants to have a rapid release cadence. That's what they said during build 2013. Their plan is to have new features brought to users way more quickly than before. So more versions being released, maybe not as many new things with every new version, but there would be more frequent updates and low costs. This one is free, for example. So that's what we're going to be seeing. And a lot of companies seem to be doing that with subscription services, kind of like Office 365 and Adobe CC. So let's look at some of the new features. As you might see right away, the start button is back. So many people wanted the start button back and Windows 8 got rid of it, but hey, you have it now and it's pretty nice. It's got this cool little animation. A little cool trick about it, if you right click it, you actually get all these awesome shortcuts. You can go to the program features window, disk management. You can shut down right from here. You can hide all your windows and go right to the desktop. Open up control panels, file explorer windows. You can get to the task manager right from here, which is really nice. So that's if you right click on the start button, that's a nice thing. So if you click on it, you get brought to the start screen. And in regards to the start screen, there's some nice changes. And my favorite one is being the fact that you can have your desktop picture show up right inside of the background, which is really nice here. So let's go back to the desktop here. Let's say we go to personalize and we go to desktop backgrounds. Let's say we change it to, oh, this picture looks cool. We'll change it to these flowers here, save changes. And let's say we go to the start screen. There it is. It looks really nice. It seems to just fit no matter what you do. So it adapts automatically to your background image. It just puts a little fade out on the back there. So I'm going to go back to my last image. I like this default one they have here. It looks cool. So that's a nice change. Another thing is there is a new all apps view. If you just press this down arrow or swipe down, you get a very nice view of all of your applications. And it is still search enabled, so if you want to search for one like calculator, boom, you get the desktop calculator and the new modern UI calculator as well. And they talked about there being a setting that when you go into the start screen, you can be brought to this view by default, but I have not found that yet. There are a few things that are not in this preview build. If anyone found that though, let me know. And there also is another option. If you're not a huge fan of the start screen, if you boot up your computer, typically you're brought up to the start screen, but there is an option to bypass that and it will boot you straight into the desktop. So that's nice. If we go to our personalization charm, so we're just going to open up the charms menu, go to settings and personalize. We can change more colors here. We have these cool backgrounds, which are animated. They have some animated background options, but I can't seem to get any animated ones to work. And before these patterns weren't even working, but they seem to be working now. But during the demo, they showed some like animated dragons and robots and stuff moving in the background, but I'm assuming we just don't have that in the preview build. But there's a lot of built-in ones right here. You can choose other colors if you want, or you can go with your desktop picture. And I like the desktop picture, and it looks like it automatically matches a dominant color for it. It's like this really dark gray kind of thing with a little bit of, it looks like there's a little bit of blue in there. So it automatically matches, and the colors actually look really beautiful. So that's a nice little thing. Now, on the start screen, you can also do some more customizing. As you can see, there are some different tile sizes. Before, it was just wide and a square. But now you can have these bigger tiles, if you want. You can have these really small tiles here, too. So you can change multiple sizes. You just use this resize option, and you can make things bigger or smaller right there in this new customize mode. So that's really cool, and you can still label groups together just by selecting things and giving it a name, if you want. So they didn't get rid of that. That's a nice little thing to keep there. So those are some changes with the start screen. There are some new applications. Reading list is new. Fitness, there's a fitness application built in that is new. They have a new scanner application, a sound recorder, calculator, and alarms. So if I had a scanner plugged in, I could actually scan images, but I don't. But now they have a modern UI version of that. Sound recorder, this is nice. If you need to record some audio for maybe a screen recording or something, you can just do it right here. It's got this cool little animation. You can pause it if you want or stop it, and you can go to the editor, you can trim it, hit OK if you want to make any changes, or you can cancel out and just delete it. Very simple. And they have a nice calculator and alarms app here. 
just little utilities that they've already had for most things. I'm not sure if they had an alarm utility before, but now they just have modern UI versions of them. So they run with this nice advanced touch interface because that's mainly what the modern UI is for. It is for touch. And I think it just looks prettier. All right, so we'll come out of that. So there's some nice new built-in apps. The store got a little bit of a facelift. There's a new featured section. And across multiple apps, you'll notice that the app bar has a new look. Instead of just square icons or circles, typically, you usually get these bricks, these little bricks here that have text in them, and sometimes you'll get additional lists here. So it's just a lot more convenient. So that's the app bar. And there's, yeah, the featured section there. That's pretty nice to have. And they have a new screenshots view. You just click on the side here to get to the different screenshots. Much more simple than before. I like that. There's a new help and tips application. However, it is not in this version of the preview, but I'm assuming that's like an interactive help manual or something like that. Now, another big thing about Windows 8.1 is the ability to snap apps differently. And this is good for tablets with smaller screens, and it's good for more multitasking. Now, I'm only running this at a 1366 by 768 preview here, so I'll see what I can do. But typically, when you have an application, let's say we go to Photos here. All right, so we're using the app and everything's great. And if you want to use another app, let's say, let's see what else we have open here. Let's say we want the alarm in here. You could snap it to the side and it would be one third of the screen. But now you can have apps split halfway across the screen. You can even have up to four apps at once on a, I think we did that on a 1080p display. It depends. I mean, the bigger screen you have, the more you can snap. During the build demo, they had like 16 apps snapped up at once, but... So that's pretty cool. So now you have this 50-50 split. And for example, let's say you're in an email and you click on an attachment. Typically, it would take you out of the app and into the Photos app, but now it will just snap that new app to the side right here. So yeah, we can't do uh, other snapping on the smaller screen, it seems. Oh, we actually, yeah, we can do a quarter right here. So yeah, there's more snap modes. That's really convenient. So if you've used Windows 8 before, you probably have snapped, but now you can have more than two things up at once and you can snap 50-50 and much more screen sizes. So that's really convenient. So let's say I go to the desktop and I want to, I don't know, let's say I'm working in Excel or something and I want uh, a calculator open. So I'll go to calculator and let's say I go back to the desktop. And if I want that to be snapped here, I could just drag it there and be like, okay, I could use half and half or I could shrink it down a bit more and just use a little bit of it right there while I have Excel going on on the desktop. And when you're done, you can just close it like that. Okay, so snapping, that has been updated. That is very important. Another big change is with search. So if we go to our search charm here, it's a little bit different than before and you get this option up here to search for individual categories, web images, file settings, etc. So I'll keep it on everywhere. And let's say I wanna launch an app like mail. I could search mail and I can launch mail right from there. Same thing with other applications. If I wanna launch Internet Explorer, same thing, and it'll even show settings. But a cool thing is, it's also a very powerful web search utility. So let's say I wanted to look up some information about a celebrity. I could type in their name right here and just click the result, and I get this unified view that brings in all of these different websites all together into this very cool modern UI interface. Everything is just grouped together. Previews of web pages, other links and places I can go to, so let's say I want to search for something else. I click the search button and search what is the chemical formula for glucose. And then I get all these chemical websites. And look, my answer is right there. Six carbon, 12 hydrogen, six oxygen. So you can go to a top result. You could go to Wikipedia. And you can go to whatever you want. You click it, it brings you into Internet Explorer. And here we are browsing in IE. So Windows 8.1 also comes with IE 11. There's some very cool changes here. There is a downloads manager you can view right from this menu here. So if I had a download going, I could show it up right there. There's a favorites button right here. I don't think there was an immediately accessible favorites button before. I might be wrong about that. And another cool thing is the tabs show up on the bottom here before they would show up on top and you would have bars coming out from the top and the bottom of the screen. But now everything's just right on the bottom, very convenient. I, I could just click these little X's right here when I wanna close the window. And let's say I want to go to something else, like our website. Well, actually, I don't know if the HTML5 works too well on there, but let's say uh, we'll just go to apple.com. So we get results showing up there. We could press return and 
be brought right to the website here. So yep, Internet Explorer works. There's some nice updates and there's new developer things in there too. I'm not so up on there, but I know there are some under the hood changes. Another thing that has been changed, if you go to the PC settings application, you will notice there are some very nice changes with the sidebar here. Let's say I go to PC and devices. What happens now is this part of the screen is separate from this part of the screen. So if I scroll through other options on the side here, I can just get back by pressing this arrow instead of how Windows 8 did it before. So basically it's just more convenient, it's less cluttered when you click on one setting, it hides everything else and just scrolls it all over for you. There's some other panels in here as well. So if I want to go to, let's say, customize our display here, change display settings, I can now change the resolution right inside of here. And this is a top settings page, and I think what it does is it has these three up here by default, but I started using these two settings more recently, so it started putting these up here, so I think it automatically builds your most frequently used settings and puts them right there, which is really convenient. And I really like the way this looks. It's very clean, and it's very good for touch as well. And there's a little search utility right here if you need to search for something. So let's say network. And we get a list of network options. So if we need to change something and it shows this gear, that means we can change it right inside the app we're in. If it shows another icon, that means we need to go to the standard control panel, which is still fully supported. So if we need something that's inside the regular Windows control panel, it's still all there for you. No need to worry about that. Another small change that I noticed inside the app switcher now, which still fully works, it actually says start here. Instead of showing you that start screen preview, it actually has an extension to the start button here. So I can click to get to any of the applications or I could drag them out like I was doing earlier with Snap. And if I go into there, I can also go to the start screen right from here. And in case you forgot, you can also go to it right from your charms here in the corner. Or you can just press the Windows key on your keyboard. That's typically what I do. I just find that easier. So those are some of the changes in Windows 8.1. You can download the preview from Microsoft's website. There's a lot of changes for developers, a new version of Visual Basic coming out, a lot of new APIs. So this update, for what it has, and considering that it's free, I think that's pretty awesome. It's way more than a service pack. It seems to be a very nice update for Windows 8. It seems to fix a lot of those little discrepancies and little nitpicky things people didn't like. And I think it's a better system. So try this yourself if you want. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Let's just shut down this bad boy. All right. See ya. Videos are just the beginning. Check out these other great websites for great content from the Computer Clan and subscribe for more great videos from Real Deal Productions.